to The Maker Show. My name is Jeff Krepke and today I'm going to present a video that I recorded about a year ago and it's how to make a surface plate uh, in order to do design work. And this is going to be the first in the video of how to set up a small workshop, uh, machine uh, metal workshop for as cheap as humanly possible hopefully. Uh, and uh, some really good tools about how to uh, get the tools to create a precision machine, uh, a homemade CNC, for example. So, uh, in my uh, my thinking, after going through this process, is this is the number one step. Uh, it's very uh, cheap. There's uh, three granite. Uh, uh, foot by foot uh, granite tiles that you can uh, pick up at Home Depot or Lowe's uh, and then some grinding compound which you can find at any automotive uh, uh, Lowe's or Shucks or anything that has those kind of things. You get some valve grinding compound. Uh, you can get a, a, a multi-pack that has uh, coarse and fine. That's the one I would uh, suggest. Uh, and then you you start grinding it with the the uh, the uh, coarse um, uh, grinding compound, and then you uh, continue on with the fine um, to get that fine finish. Uh, it's a three-step process. It need you need three uh, granite plates in order to do it, or you'll get uh, a cup and a valley out of the uh, grinding. So I'm going to demonstrate that out in the shop right now. Uh, please enjoy the video and please rate, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so the, our basic idea is we got the surface plates, and uh, flip that screen around. We have the surface plates and they used to be real shiny and now obviously they got greasy residue from the grinding compound. It's basically silica carbide in grease. So what I've done is I've done this a lot. I'm basically grinding it in. You can use a round pattern or some say a figure eight pattern like this and I'm just grinding that two plates together. Okay, so then you got the three plates. So now that this one is, then we're going to go ahead and do this one to this plate. We're going to grind it in. See, this one's really tight. It's even hard to push it around, which means you got almost total contact. So that one's almost perfectly flat. See, I can't even hardly lever it up. It's so tightly bound. So I'm gonna go from here to here. I've just about, I've already pretty much finished this step. See, but this one, I can get some movement on. So we are definitely got some grinding to do to make it as flat as probably this one I have on top and the one on the bottom. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and clean those off for you guys. So just paper towels. I'm going to use some paint thinner. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen glossy tile, floor tile, granite floor tile, but it's definitely, it's not bright and shiny anymore. It's got a more of a dullness to it. I'm going to watch how good with the that on a dry paper towel. And then I'm going to go ahead and try to run an indicator 
over this So, hold it steady, and I'm loading it, and then I'll, oh, that's the zero ink's working. Have this is the first time I've used this, so it may need to be exercised just to hear it. Okay, so our basic our reference here is 10, and this is a 0 0.01 millimeter per uh, tick. So we're fin like two or three point zero one millimeters. Oh, let me figure that out right now. How much that is in tenths. So I never did uh, figure out what that measurement was, but a couple ticks on a, uh, a micrometer or a, a dial indicator like that, I wouldn't be concerned about with, uh, it's going to be way more accurate than anything you can do in any other method. Um, if I had that uh, to lay out initially, lay out my, uh, my parts on my um, CNC, uh, um, router project um, then um, I think it would have been it would have been a way more accurate machine and I kind of need to go back and rebuild those elements uh, with the, the more precision equipment I have now uh, but as you can see a couple uh, five dollar tiles a little bit of valve grinding compound about twenty dollars worth of uh, supplies will give you not one two but three uh, 12 by 12 surface plates to have a are pretty uh, supremely ac accurate and uh, if you live in a, a place that's uh, like in Alaska uh, having a surface plate shipped um, is just prohibitively cost prohibitive uh, there's no way a, a, a hobbyist could get that shipped up to Alaska and sometimes they don't even ship to Alaska so you got that issue so you'd have to go with like a reshipper or something so totally un, undoable for the hobbyist up here in Alaska uh, but uh, I was able to go that right down to uh, Lowe's or Home Depot and pick up those tiles and to my local uh, auto repair uh, dealer to pick up the valve guiding compound I got a couple uh, uh, three really nice uh, surface plates and uh, uh, 
what I do is, um, and I'll show you in a later video about the, the precision measurement tools I've ordered from China, uh, but I'll go over that in a, uh, the next video. So please rate, comment, surprise, and I'd like to see you on my channel. Thanks.